Hi, my name is Megan. I'm a transformational coach. I'm going to be on the online prosperity show. I am dedicated to empowering, inspiring, and supporting women to overcoming their fears to design a life that they love. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the online prosperity show. And today, all the way from Portland, I brought you the transformational coach, Megan. Megan, how are you doing, my love? I'm good. How are you doing, Prosper? Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, obviously, you might be wondering why we've got Megan on the show today. Megan has a passion for helping women to actually dig deep and push past their limiting self-beliefs and actually build a life that they love and learn what actually lights them up. So you might be on your way to starting a business or you just want to have a happier existence People like Megan are always out there, um, you know, to help you be, do, and have all that you wish and desire. So if you're looking to create a change from within to follow your greatest desires and to fulfill your wildest dreams and to actually live your best life, I think my friend uh, Megan here is going to be the person to help you out. Now, I could go on and on about what you've done, um, Megan, because you are a self-love and self-development coach with a love for hiking, traveling, wellness, and you also have a fair baby. I just want to know a little bit about yourself and what got you started uh, in this journey that you're on now. Yeah. So um, every day, um, day to day, I'm a nurse practitioner. And in the States, that's um, Similar to a doctor, but in the U.S., we call it mid-level providers. So I see patients every day, you know, every 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and so every day, you know, they come in with whatever they're coming in to talk about, usually physical problems, and a lot of them have mental and emotional problems. Um, and so we really don't have time to address that in the 15 to 20 minute slots. Um, and so, you know, that really is something that I'm passionate about and helping people. I've been a nurse for eight years prior to that. Um, and then going, you know, a little further and digging deeper, I've had my own struggles. I went through a divorce and, um, you know, during grad school, I worked as a nurse at night during the night shift and then I did school in the day. And so I really put myself on the back burner there and was lacking in that self-love department. And so that's really what inspired me to share my self-love journey and to help other women um, really dig deep and cultivate their self-love journey and to, you know, help them with whatever their needs are. And so I like to tailor to their needs. I do a one-to-one -one program and then I have a, a six week course. Um, so I can do more of a group work and then dig deeper in that way. And so that's really what inspired me. So I could take that time with each person versus, you know, every day when I'm in my day job, just speeding along. So that's really what I love is serving others. Great stuff. Thank you so much for that, uh, Megan. Now, obviously, what you've just explained is just life. You know, mm -hmm. you've got a job, you've got a husband, or you've got work, you've got study, and the whole day-to-day -day has to happen. Bills have to be paid, and yeah. if there's babies, they've got to be kissed. So tell me something. Why, why is that not something to look forward to? You know, ever since I was really, really young, um, I just had this passion. I don't know. Um, when I was growing up, my great grandma was a nurse. And so probably when I was four or five, we would play nurse on each other and we do pretend surgeries on each other. And I'd check her vital signs every morning and make, you know, serve her and make sure she was doing good. Um, and it's just something I've been really, really passionate about. And I'd always had my dreams of becoming a nurse and helping other people and going on mission trips and serving other people in that way. Um, and then you know, through social media and through all these channels, you can reach so many more people um, and meet many people and reach your message globally. And there's so many more avenues and you can, you know, connect with women one-on-one -on -one and do these amazing discovery calls and serve in such a greater capacity than just in the clinic. Um, and I just think it's so amazing all the work that you can do. And so it's really become some just much more of a passion of mine versus just getting up and going to work every day or getting on the computer and having these coaching sessions because I feel like I'm truly making an impact and a difference and it's just amazing and incredible and so it's something that really lights me up. 
So I want other people to find what lights them up. Absolutely. So basically as women, I mean, I wouldn't speak on their behalf, but I know that women usually put other people in front. Either it's their family, mm-hmm. it's their co-workers, mm-hmm. their kids, and they forget a lot um, about themselves. Why is it important to have self-love and to have that self-development? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And this is something I was just thinking about is, you know, often um, when we talk about as women being doing the act of self-love or self-care, I think women associate guilt um, or say, you know, mom guilt or whatever it is if they have a child um, and that they're not really stepping in to what they're, what they're capable of, you know, their true power. Um, and when I looked at the definition of guilt, um, it was associated with a crime. And when you're taking care of yourself, um, you know, pursuing your dreams, implementing self-care, um, practicing personal development, you know, that's not a crime, right, for being good to yourself. So I think it's really funny that we associate that with guilt. Um, and I think that's really important, you know, that we need to do that mindset shift and do do that work um, because we have to take care of ourselves. We can't give to anyone else, you know, our kids, our significant other, our spouse, even ourselves if our cups are empty. Um, and so, and I think then when our cups are full, we're going to create confidence. We're going to be confident in ourselves. We're going to create confidence for our children. We're going to create a legacy for ourselves. We're going to create memories. We're going to allow freedom in our lives, um, freedom to do more things, um, freedom for our families. And we're going to create, you know, out of the box thinking, and it's just going to create, you know, this whole ripple effect. So I think it's just so important to take good care of yourself. No, make it. You know, somebody could be watching this video right now and they're thinking to themselves, people like me have always done things like this. Um, They grew up in an environment where grandmother was always looking after granddad, mom was always looking after dad and the kids and they probably have a bigger family. Why now would somebody have to break the mold or go off the status quo and, and start looking after themselves first in order for them to be doing, have a a happier existence. Mm -hmm. When we're thinking about self-care or building, you know, building your dreams or pursuing your passions or um, taking a bubble bath or, um, you know, investing in yourself or build, you know, doing daily personal development or whatever self-care means to you, you know, why would you say that's a crime, right? That's definitely bettering yourself and continuing your growth. And I think that's really where you have to shift your mindset and take, take, you know, your mindset to the next level and realize that it's not negative, it's positive. Um, And I think that's really empowering. And so when you're switching that mindset to positivity versus selfishness or guilt, um, then you're going to exude confidence and that can be, you know, exuded into your kids Um, you know, thinking you're creating a legacy for them, you're going to create more freedom for them, you're going to create more freedom for yourself, you know, to take care of maybe your sick mom or your to spend time with your kids, um, you know, to do the things that you're passionate about and really be an out-of-the-box thinker. And I think that's really, you know, the importance of it. And that's why you want to practice self-care and why it's so important because you can't give if you want else. And so I think that's really why it's so important. Absolutely. So some people, Megan, might be looking at you and saying, oh, I can't be like her. She's blonde. She's beautiful. Just, she has it all going for herself. She's probably educated. I can never achieve that sort of happiness or that sort of balance in my life. What, what sort of um, advice would you give to somebody who's, who's going through that? Yeah. But you know what? I think that it's totally achievable for every single person. You know, I have had my own share of struggles and my own share of strengths, or I mean, my own share of um, obstacles. You know, I haven't just had strengths the whole entire way. You know, people have often thought because I'm blonde that I'm just really retarded or stupid, you know, and discounted me. And I've had to work so hard to prove them wrong. Um, And I've, you know, ended up in administrative roles and, you know, with people totally betting against me. And so it just shows, you know, you have to work maybe that much harder to get something that you really want. Um, And I think that, you know, just, just 
never discounting yourself, just always knowing that anything you want is possible. And even if it doesn't come easy for you the first time, learning that as, or taking that as a lesson learned. Um, and also keeping in mind, this is something that was really huge for me thinking, um, instead of, you know, why is this happening to me? Maybe why is this happening for me and taking all of those lessons out? Um, and even if it was a bad situation at the time, um, maybe, you know, the universe wasn't ready for you to step into an amazing situation yet. So just keep thinking about that as well. Absolutely. I think it was Oprah that mentioned something like, um, you can have uh, all that you want in life, but not all at the same time. Can you imagine yeah. <laughs> if you wanted all the money, the riches or the happiness and it all comes together, you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, half of the time, um, a lot of people go, um, you know, maybe on this journey and then they start doubting themselves. Maybe it's because um, they lack the support of the environment. How important is the people around you or what you influence yourself with? Maybe it's books, um, TV, radio, you know, on, on a journey to, 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 to self-development. Yeah. And I think that is so huge. It's like, so absolutely huge. And I, I know it's said, you know, you are the top five people that you surround yourself with. So choose that wisely, you know, and if you have toxic people, just take those out of, you know, weed that out of your life, even though it might be really challenging and just make sure that those five people that you see regularly are who you want to be like and who you want to spend your energy on. And then I think it's so important, you know, every morning when I go to work, I listen to an audiobook um, that I think is really inspiring and empowering. Um, and I also, you know, like to do positive affirmations and pull cards like the power of now or the law of attraction or the universe has your back or something like that, you know, just to get a really good positive vibe in the morning. And there's also apps on your phone that you can do for that. And if I like one, I like will tape it on the mirror in my bathroom or write a positive sticky note. Um, just, you know, and it might be something too that I've been struggling with it so I can repeat it. You know, if you repeatedly do it or say it, it's going to happen, right? Or you're going to keep thinking that. And so I think that's so powerful and just being um, really positive um, and bringing gratitude into your life. And I think that's a total game changer and it can just totally change your outlook. And so I think that those are all really keys to success. Absolutely. I viscerally believe that uh, we're all here to live, to learn and to contribute. I mean, the living part, people would need to figure it out. Uh, the learning part, we learn from other people's um, mistakes and we also mm. learn from other people's experiences and contributing is what part of what you're doing there. Now, on the learning part, um, you've extended or you've uh, explained that maybe books or audiobooks or audio tapes or things like that. Um, I heard you are part of a book that's also being written. Tell us a little bit about that book. Yeah, so it's called She is Unstoppable and it's a collaboration with 11 other women and it's a global project. And it's really about sharing our stories and we're hoping to inspire and empower other women um, through our journeys, you know, of our struggles turned into strengths and just to really, um, share that with you, you know, to just be really vulnerable and open and, you know, know that like what you were saying before, you know, not everyone is just perfect, you know, that we all have our downfalls or that we've all gone through things and that we're still pushing through. We're still, you know, going after our dreams and our passions and that it's possible. Um, and so, you know, we want to just share that with people and just to try to inspire as many people as possible. Great stuff. Now, Megan, maybe Sally, who's watching this video right now, is taken aback and is thinking, how can I be as eloquent and as well presented as Megan there? You did say you've got a six-week course. How does that work out? Yeah, so it's laid out in six weeks. And like I kind of was explaining before, I really believe in mindset. So the first week, um, I will be talking a lot about mindset and getting, you know, getting that straight. Um, and talking about self-love and going over that. And then the second week, we'll be talking about discovering your inner light and your true potential and stepping into that. And then um, I am a nurse and a nurse practitioner. So the third week, we'll really be talking about healthier habits for a happier life and implementing you know, health and nutrition um, for that they, ways that they can implement that into their day-to-day. 
And the fourth week, we'll be talking about moving your body and fun ways to do that and exercise, do yoga, staying accountable, all those sort of things. Um, week five, really diving into balance. Um, I think that's so important and key. Um, and then week six, I really want to talk about um, having life by design, you know, that purpose and passion, finding alignment. And then there's some fun bonuses. So I'm really, really excited about, um, you know, working on your dream life vision and doing vision boards. And so um, that you can find all of that on my website. And it's going to be, it's just a really fun group. And it's, just, yeah, it's a fun passion project that I've been putting together. So that's what that's about. <laughs> Great. So, now, Megan, how can people get a hold of um, of all this goodness that you have in store for us? Yeah. So, you can find it at my website. It's at withlovemegan.com. Um, and then if you have any questions, you can email me at hello at withlovemegan.com. And my Instagram is withlove under, or, yeah, withlove underscore Megan. So, that is my information. Great stuff. So right. Absolutely. Now, Megan, I can't thank you enough, um, you know, for the time we've spent on this show. And um, at, at the end of the day, people that are watching this are the most important person in this. Now, somebody might be sitting at the edge of their seats, not quite sure how to proceed from now on. What's you know, your go-to piece of advice that you can give to somebody who's really uh, trying to push past their self-limiting beliefs and build a life, um, you know, that they are proud of or they can enjoy. Yeah, I think really, you know, just follow your heart and your desires and your passions. Um, I think a lot of times people are afraid or fearful and just realize that success is just right on the other side of fear. So just keep going. Um, and I think also a lot of people get hung up on perfection or they're too afraid of not looking perfect, you know, so just really it's progress over perfection. So just start, you know, just whatever you're wanting to do, just start, you have to start somewhere. And I think that's the key. Absolutely. Just start. I love that. Now, Megan, thank you so much. And if you've been watching this and you, um, you know, arming and ahhing about how to proceed with your life and you want to push past those limited beliefs, um, people like Megan have a passion to actually help you dig deep and find that true, um, you know, change within and you can follow your greatest desires. Now, Megan, I can't thank you enough for your time today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Bye for now. Bye. Hi, my name is Megan and I am a transformational coach. I am going to be on the online trans... Oh, sorry.